We will present Morgan Martin and Guillaume Vilk the case study about San Francisco Coffee House, an American style franchise in Croatia. At first, we will speak about the company overview. On the return to their homeland of Croatia following a six year visit to the United States, Denis Tensek and Yasmina Pasek decided to open an American style coffee house reminiscent of San Francisco atmosphere. Now we will answer to the question about this case. At first, should Tensek and Pasek consider franchising over organic growth? The answer is yes. Franchising should be preferred over growing organically. Some of the reasons include lower financial investment, lower risk, faster growth, local market knowledge by franchisee, and the franchisee's motivation to succeed. Franchisees is beginning to arise. No, but it's not just the time, it's just Advantages are their concept has, has started to garner local publicity. Second, there are no specific legal basis for, for franchising. Third, franchising is much. So now we will speak about the second question what that just means would they need to make for franchising in the Croatian context. So, one of the major challenging tasks in front of SFCH was franchising. Croatia became independent in 1991 and San Francisco Coffee House was established in 2003. Economic growth started after 1991. Younger generation became familiar with international brands and their franchising habits also being changed. Franchising is one of, of the methods for business growth. Croatia is a developing country, so opportunities for franchising are enormous. Since only a single artic, article in Croatian trade law regarding franchising is available in Croatia, so San Francisco Coffee House has to open franchises as per law. Croatian people are less willing to enter in franchising business. San Francisco Coffee House should start motivating people about franchising by telling them the benefits that are gained by, by being a member of a successful franchising system. San Francisco Coffee House has to start educating their employees or senior officials about franchising as many seminars and promotions are being organized by many centers and associations. Lack of franchising knowledge in Croatia is a bottleneck for San Francisco Coffee House. The hub of recommendation is for domestic franchises as education level is low in Croatia but franchising. Croatian bank are also not familiar. Match 3 minutes 33. Non, mais à force de enregistrer sur enregistrer. Non, non, là c'est depuis le début. Ah, so, now for the third question How could they protect their intellectual property and business from our no no? So, answer is Denis Tensek and Yasmina Pasek can protect their intellectual property and know how by taking few important steps like the company should get their trademark and logo registered and get patent for them. The company should maintain an adequate legal support through the services of some successful lawyers who can guide them every now and then when legal processions need to be done, example in case of filing lawsuits against other defaulters. A legal, a legal binding should be put on the employees of the company regarding disclosure of company policies, strategies, or plans to outsiders, third part. Proper measures should be taken for the for employees, satisfaction and welfare. Exam 
So now, how could they fight off local imitators? What would happen if Starbucks or other major coffee chain entered the market? We have two parts to answer the two questions. Part 1. How could they fight off local imitators? They can try to have a differentiation in all aspects, quality, services, ambience. The differentiation will be on its USP. For this high standard, will have to be maintained and timely inspection will have to be done. They can adopt an aggressive marketing policy involving various mediums to increase brand visibility and awareness. They can take the help of legal system in case any malpractices or imitations are adopted by the imitators. Get its trademarks and logo registered so as to avoid their use by the imitators and file lawsuits. Essaye peut-être de changer les mots des fois, non Ouais, mais là tu avais mis pareil. Ah oui. En fait, j'ai lu ça, mais j'ai vu que c'était pareil que. Je te rappelle qu'il y en a d'autres qui fait la même. Pas la tête. So, now for the part two. They should create a distinct brand image in the minds of the consumers by maintaining high standards in quality and services. A proper marketing mix should be adopted by the company. So for the two last questions, we decided to answer in the same way. What should be the next step if they decide to franchise in Croatia? Or could they become the biggest and most successful coffee house nationally or regionally? So the first step is to develop franchise documents. The second step is to prepare operating manuals. The third step is to plan a strategy for soliciting prospective franchises. And the fourth and the last step is to help franchises with site selection and the grand opening of their franchise outlets. And now we want to say thank you for your attention and have a good day, Mr. Krishnan.